the richest women in the world. Hey everyone, it's Alexa. Welcome back to another video. There are many billionaires out there these days, but we typically hear and learn about the men with the money. What about the ladies? Who are the women with power and riches? Here we'll explore some of the strongest, the most powerful, the richest women in the world. But before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Zhou Kunfei. This woman should stand as an inspiration to not only women, but men as well. She is presently the richest woman in China, and even more impressively, the wealthiest self-made woman on earth. She founded a company called Lens Technology, which is one of the biggest manufacturers of touchscreens in the world. Shenzhen Qi Next Market listed her company publicly in 2015, and that helped her boost her net worth immensely. Initially, Zhu had wanted to become a fashion designer, and producing touchscreens was not not something she had envisioned herself doing. She was born in 1970 and worked in factories before finding success, but it was in one of those factories that she met her first husband. He was the factory's boss, and they ended up having a daughter together. She has a son with her second husband. Oh, and she's worth $10.2 billion. Muchia Prada. Can you guess where this next woman got all of her money? If you said the luxury goods company Prada, then you win. She is the youngest granddaughter of Mario Prada, the man who founded the company in the first place. She took control of her family's business back in 1978, and she's done marvelous things with it. She's acquired companies such as Church and Company, Helmut Lang, and she even has her very own contemporary art gallery that opened in 2002. Interesting little side note here. Before she gained control of the company, she was an entertainer. Prada's first successful handbag launched in 1985, and she had a very successful ready-to-wear collection come out in 1989. We've all seen the stores, and we're well aware that the company serves the rich and famous, but how much is she worth? Well, $11.1 billion. That's how much. Massimiliana Landini Aliotti. This next woman on this list is a businesswoman and an Italian heiress. She co-owns a company called Menarini, which is a pharmaceutical company. Her business partners are none other than her own children, daughter Lucia and son Alberto Giovanni. Her participation in the company has led to her becoming one of the most wealthy women in the world, and she's worth approximately $11.3 billion. Blair Perry O'Kaden. Blair Perry O'Kaden is the wealthiest person overall in Australia by net worth. She's an American billionaire heiress, though, and only resides in Scone, New South Wales. She was born in 1950 in Honolulu, Hawaii, and attended a school that was established by Barbara Cox Anthony, her mother. Her grandfather was James M. Cox, the founder of the privately held media company Cox Enterprises. Perry O'Kaden has nothing to do with the company, though, and she just inherited 25% of it after the passing of her mother. She has two children and is a divorcee with an incredible net worth. Miss Blair Perry O'Kaden is worth $12.2 billion. Anne Cox Chambers. This young lady is one of the oldest billionaires in the world. She was born on December 1, 1919 in Dayton, Ohio, and is a media proprietor for Cox Enterprises. She is the daughter of James M. Cox, the founder of Cox Enterprises, as we mentioned earlier, the company which has its hand in television, radio, business, and newspaper. Following her father's passing, Anne Cox Chambers assumed control of her late father's business interests. She married Louis G. Johnson, whom she later divorced, then she married Robert W. Chambers, with whom she shares a last name. She now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and has three children. Charlene de Carvalho Heineken. This young lady was born on June the 30th, 1954, in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Charlene Heineken is a Dutch-English businesswoman and heiress of none other than, you guessed it, Heineken International. The company is the second largest brewery in the world. Her dad, Freddie Heineken, was an industrialist who owned the company bought by his grandfather in 1864. Her mom, Lucille Cummins, was an American from Kentucky whose family had a bourbon whiskey distillery. She holds a law degree from Leiden University and is married to the director of Citigroup, Michael de Carvalho. He is also on the supervisory board for Heineken, and the couple has five children together. When her father passed in 2002, Charlene Heineken inherited $3 billion, making her the richest person who holds Dutch citizenship in the world. Iris von Bona. Born in Santiago, Chile in 1942 or 1943, the billionaire woman was once married to Andronico Lucic Abaroa. When he passed from cancer in 2005, she inherited 
quite the sum of money, as well as her husband's business, Antofagasta PLC. This helped her to become the fifth wealthiest person in all of Latin America, as well as the wealthiest person in Chile. She and her family have control over Antofagasta PLC, a mining operation that is Santiago-based, among many other things. She has not only grown the family business since taking over for her husband following his passing, but she has increased its profitability too, and she, herself, is worth $16.5 billion. Gina Reinhardt Our next billionaire woman was born on February 9, 1954, in Perth, Western Australia. She serves as the chairman of Hancock Prospecting, which was founded by her father, Lang Hancock, and is a mineral extraction and exploitation company under private ownership. Gina was the only child of Lang, so when he passed, she inherited a large stake in his company, and that has led to her becoming one of the wealthier people in Australia. She's made investments in 10 network holdings and Fairfax Media, and was once listed as the wealthiest woman on Earth. Her ranking has dropped in the last few years, though, due to a slowdown in the mining industry of Australia. Abigail Johnson This next American businesswoman was born December 19, 1961. Her grandfather was Edward C. Johnson, the founder of a little company called Fidelity. Abigail went to Hobart and William Smith to study for a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Art History, which she completed in 1984. She then went on to Harvard Business School and completed her MBA. Johnson has been the Chief Executive Officer and President of Fidelity Investments and Fidelity International since 2014. She became the chairperson of both of the companies in 2016 and continues to serve as CEO and president all at once. She's ranked as one of the richest women in the world as she is worth $18.2 billion. She's also seen as one of the most powerful women in the world. Seems like she'd make a pretty good role model to little girls everywhere. Laureen Powell Jobs Known as a strong executive and a businesswoman, Laureen Powell Jobs was also wife to the late Steve Jobs. She was born on November the 6th, 1963 in West Milford, New Jersey, and is the founder of her own company, Emerson Collectives. Said company advocates toward enacting policies dealing with education, environmental conservation, and immigration reform. From 1991 until his passing in 2011, Laureen was married to Steve Jobs, the CEO and co-founder of Apple. The two founded the Laureen Powell Jobs Trust together, which she still manages today. She's established several businesses and has her hand in a lot of things, but it was mainly the inheritance which she received from her husband that made her as wealthy as she is today. Counting wealth from her businesses and other ventures, as well as her inheritance, Laureen Powell Jobs Jobs is worth $21.3 billion. Huyan Yang not only is this young woman the richest in all of Asia, but she's also the youngest person ever to become a billionaire in China. She was born in 1981 in Shundae, China, and is a property developer and the majority shareholder of a company called Country Garden. Country Garden was founded by Yang's father in 1997. Just before the company's 2007 IPO, her father gave her 70% of its shares, and she is now the chairman of the governance committee of the board of Country Garden Holdings. Before being thrown into her whirlwind life of work, she attended Ohio State University and married Chen Chong in 2006. She's now just 37 years old and worth $22.3 billion. Suzanne Clatten This German heiress was born on April 28, 1962 in Bad Hamburg to Joanna and Herbert Kant. She inherited a 50% stake in a chemical and pharmaceuticals company called Altana when her father passed. She then inherited her mother's wealth when she passed as well. Not only that, but she has pretty significant holdings in the German car manufacturing company BMW. All of these things have led her to becoming the richest woman in Germany, and she doesn't like it at all. She even used to use a surname to avoid recognition because she doesn't like being recognized as a billionaire. Suzanne Clatton comes in with a net worth of $24.4 billion. Jacqueline Mars Jacqueline Mars is an heiress and a businesswoman that was born on October 10, 1939. Any guesses as to the family business? Her grandfather was Frank C. Mars, the founder of Mars Incorporated, the candy company, of course. She was the main heiress to the shares of the super large candy corporation, and this made her extremely wealthy after her grandfather and father passed. She was smart and made some investments with her money that helped her net worth grow, and she's now worth $28.2 billion. Maria Franca Fisolo 
The next billionaire here is yet another lucky recipient of an inheritance. She's an Italian billionaire who received her wealth after being married to Michael Ferrero, the man who owned Ferrero SPA, Europe's second largest confectionery company. Just in case you haven't heard of it, Ferrero SPA is also the parent company to Tic Tacs, Kinder Eggs, Ferrero Rocher, Mon Cherie, Kinder Chocolate, and Nutella. Her husband passed on February the 14th, 2015, and as a Valentine's Day gift, incidentally, she inherited his wealth and company. This quickly made her the second richest woman on earth and the richest woman in Italy and all of Europe. All right, we've seen many super rich women so far and we still have one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask, what would you do if you even had a billion dollars or just one million dollars? What would be some of the first purchases on your list? Let us know in the comments below. One, Alice Walton. She's one of the heiresses to the Walmart fortune, that's how. But before she was flooded with insane amounts of cash, she lived a simpler life. She was born on October 7, 1949 in Newport, Arkansas, and later went to San Antonio, Texas to attend Trinidad University. Following that, she was an equity analyst, money manager, and founder of an investment bank called The Llama Company. The company closed down in the 1990s and she moved away to a ranch in Millsap, Texas. Her father passed in 1992 and she and her brothers inherited a fortune apiece. She has no children, lives in Mineral Wells, Texas, and is worth $46 billion.